Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the MX Linux 23.5 codename Librito. So this is the latest point update of the MX Linux 23 series. So here I already downloaded the 23.5 ISO file and here is all the common things which you usually see in the MX Linux. The username is the demo and the password is also the demo. For the super user root and password is root. And about the section here is the MX Linux welcome. And about the task manager, let me first close the welcome screen. So here you can see all the uh, resources and process uh, running right now. Here is the CPU and RAM. It's consuming 1.9 GB because I uh, typed all the terminal uh, here. So here are all the commands. And also it's been like uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I've been not the 10, 15 minutes. It will be like a eight, nine minutes uptime. So here is the release notes. MX Linux 23.5 now available and the main thing is it's based on Debian 12.9 if you didn't watch the Debian 12.9 which I already made a video I don't think I made a video on the 12.9 but I made the Debian 12.8 but uh, if you want to uh, see that video I can make a video to Debian 12.9 and the code name is a bookworm and a base so in the Debian 12.9, there are some uh, fixes and uh, like a bug fixes and security updates, which you usually find in the Debian official website. Let me show you first that and we can go through all the other things. Just type in like a Debian and the first link will be the obviously the official website. And I, I forgot to open the Linux kernel website also. Let me open the Linux kernel website. Kernel.org and about the 12.9 changes here is the 12.9 just click on the uh, link or the uh, thing and here you can see all the miscellaneous bug fixes and also security updates so you can count it all the you can count uh, it will be like a bit of numbers so you can easily find the uh, security updates and all the like uh, miscellaneous bug fixes and everything here so let's get back to the main thing which is uh, MX Linux 23.5. You get the XFC 4.20 and also MX Package Installer has UI improvements. You can just read it from here or else you can just go to the website and get all the information. So the main thing is here it's based on the latest Debian 12.9 bookworm and also FastFetch is uh, pre-installed so uh, that's also a good thing. You don't need to uh, use the NeoFetch because NeoFetch is already ended so you can just type in the FastFetch and you should be good uh, getting all those information and for the downloads here are all the available downloads like a KDE, AHS, XFC, the normal and everything Fluxbox and everything and here are like a problem reports if you want to report you can report here is all the information so these are all the main changes so I don't consider it like it is like a major update but it's a good update uh, like uh, its latest uh, Debian 12.9 so that was the changes and let's go through the uh, commands first and uh, it says like a MX Linux 23.5 so the kernel we are using is 6.1 which is the LTS version let me show you that also so here is the 6.1 which is the long term version click on the releases which is uh, here uh, here is the LTS version so it was released on 2022 and uh, the end of life will be December 2027 so it was like a before it was like a 2026 but i guess uh, it was extended to a one year more i guess in order to get the kernel information you can use the uname dash r or else you can use the about semicolon support to get some distro information and also some browser information so here is the kernel again here is the version you get the latest 134 version of the firefox so that's the latest thing you get here so applications are also updated and here is like a picture and picture some browser information so it uh, it's not important for the video so i'm just going to skip all those things the main thing is mesa here is the mesa version you get the 22.3.6 so here you can also see again lnvm pipe when you scroll it down you should be also seeing the uh, window protocol x11 desktop environment is a xfce and here is the mesa version again 22.3.6.0 you don't get the latest 24 uh, thing and about the present monitor resolution it's a 1920 into 1080 and these are some browser information if anything is important you can just pause the video if it's not then just skip the video to the main thing and those were the changes so these are all the main changes 
and about the kernel which i already mentioned about the system requirements it's a xfc desktop environment you can easily use mx linux uh, even if you have like a 2 gb of ram but if you want to go with the kde plasma you can you need to have a bit of more ram in my point of view i don't know how it's going to work but you need to have like a 4 gb of ram so this was the mx linux 23.5 uh, information so which is the main thing xfc 4.20 let me show you the desktop environment information so here is the xfc 4.20 and uptime it says like a 10 minutes it's more than a 10 minutes because i typed all those things and i started the microphone and everything so it will be like almost 15 minutes i'm going to show you again so let me first change the color of the background so you can see everything properly let me change it to black and white and here you can see the packages 2133 dpkg and what else we have the icon themes everything is same here is the swap so here you get all the information my cpu is i5-1240p i'm using 8 gb of ram and now let's go through all the important information like a graphics and everything so first let's go with the system host it says like a mx1 because we are running it as a live boot kernel version which is the lts version which is 6.1 and compiler GCC, you don't get the 14 version, you get the 12.2.0. Desktop environment 4.20, which is the latest version. GTK version, you get the 3.24.38. And the uh, window manager version, you get the 4.20. Light DM version, you get the 1.32.0. Distro, it says like a MX Linux 23.5. It's a 0.5 update. And here is the libretto. Here is the date, January 12th, 2025. And it's based on Debian new Linux bookworm, which is 12.9, which I already mentioned. And when you go to the memory, it says like a 7.72 GB. 7.7 .7 is the available RAM when you are using 8 GB of RAM. And it's consuming 1.9 GB. And about the CPU, I already mentioned I'm using i5 1240p. Here is the speed, flags, vulnerabilities, which is clearly unnecessary for the video. Now let's talk about the graphics. We have the VMWGFX version 2.20.0. There is no mention of the graphics or any changes there. You can go through one by one in the uh, release note itself. I don't want to read everything because it's going to make a video lengthy. The main thing you want to hear is what it is based on. So it's based on 12.9 with the security uh, fixes and all those things. You can get all those information from the Debian uh, itself or else if you want to watch the Debian 12.9, I can make a video on it. Do let me know in the comment section and my present monitor resolution here is the other monitor resolutions so it's a well-known distribution so if you want to try uh, the mx linux you can try it and also if you are already using you can update all those things so here is the audio information elsa version is right in front of you and what else we have and the pipewire version you get the 1.0 here is the network bluetooth uh usb sensors repos which is clearly unnecessary process running right now 282 wake ups 104 init system winit version is 3.0.6 vcc version i already mentioned shell bash version 5.2.15 inx version is 3.3.26 let me type in another command cat forum slash etc forum slash issue here is all the information and let me type in the fast fetch again and here is the exact ram and exact uptime of the uh, mx linux so it's been almost 24 minutes i didn't see issues or anything uh, almost like a 24 minutes so it's better to uh, use it like a one day or two days and uh, do let me know in the comment section and the kernels so the xfc kd and the flexbox will be using the latest 6.1 it's not the latest it's the lts version 6.1 because the uh, latest version is like a 6.12 6.13 and about other things ahs now uses the 6.12.8 6.12 is also the stable and the lts version which is uh, already mentioned in my videos i already made a youtube shorts on the 6.12 which is uh, the latest lts version and those were the main things and here many many bug fixes many many language updates many new applications in our uh, mx test repositories and these are all the main changes so you can easily find all the information from the official website but if you want some additional information there is also an additional information like a uh, ending january 11 2025 you can click on the uh, link and you should be getting all the mx tools updates so they gave they mentioned the mx tools updates here 
as you can see mx text and everything and here you should be getting all the additional information so like a downloads 23.4 so these are all the 23.4 information here is the latest 23.5 information so you can compare you can see all the changes if you want to download you can download whatever the uh, iso file you want click on the iso file so there is also 32 bit and everything so it will take directly to the source forge and it will download if you don't want to download automatically you can go and check all the source forge files here so here is the old version here is the final here is the community respins i already made the community respins videos also if you want to check it out you can check it out and about the summary here you can see all the summary of the uh, mx linux but when you go to the files when you go to the final and you should be seeing some information under the uh, iso files so here is the complete information if you want to read you can read it here so that was some of the information and what else we have about the task manager this is how it's performing this is how the resources are consuming 1.6 gb of ram and throughout the video it was up and down so it's a debian base so it's going to work better some people dislikes debian some people likes debian so it's clearly up to you i'm not going to say which is good or not you can decide i don't know how it's going to perform on your pc so it's your opinion and uh, if you have any issues you can do let me know in the comment section it uh, you can also ask all the other people also and about the application there is no other things uh, added here so here you can see all the applications so it is working properly without issues in my point of view or in my pc so here is the supported until june 2028 debian version 12.9 the version mx linux 23.5 here is the xfc so if you have like a full more than 4 gb of ram and if you like the kd plasma you can go with the kd plasma but if you have like a low-end pc always go with the xfc open box you don't have a open box but i'm going to say some basic uh, lightweight desktop environments like a jwm open box iswm there are a lot of things you can easily uh, run with those desktop environments and about the full system information i already showed all the information from the terminal but if you want to go through all those things you can go you can get all the information right here instead of typing the commands and if you want any additional thing you can just click here and you can open the all the information so i don't want to make a video lengthy so i'm just going to end the uh, video here because the main things i already mentioned everything and about the appearance there is nothing in the appearance or anything in the fonts or anything like that so here are all the icons and if you want to do a stress test i'm going to open a bunch of applications and uh, see whether it will crash or not usually you don't have any issues with the mx linux most of the users doesn't have but uh, i don't know uh, about others but if you have any issues do let me know in the comment section it will help me and also uh, some other viewers also so i opened a bunch of applications here let me open also the library office and what else we have remember i have like a 8 gb of ram so it's going to be uh, opening all those things without any issues and we can easily switch the applications let me type in the password which is demo let me hit enter and now let's go check it out the task manager and here you can see it's consuming like a 2.4 gb of ram 2.5 gb of ram so i don't see any issues and in the background the applications are opening so there will be some delay so it's not an issue that's a common thing you usually see in all the pcs and let me try to switch the applications as you can see everything is switching instantly again remember this is a 8 gb of ram i have like a i5 1240p so it's more than recommended requirement so it's going to perform better and uh, if you have like a low-end pc i don't know how it's going to perform you can try it on your own do let me know in the comment section and about the application updates you get the i guess you get the supernova of the thunderbird i guess you get the nebula which is the latest version 128 so that's a good thing and most of the people i don't think most of the people will be using thunderbird if you are using do let me know in the comment section you already got the latest firefox browser which is 134 here is the 134 version let's even close that and about the library office you should be getting the 24 version i guess you get the 7.4.7.2 let's close the library office 
and about the synaptic or a synaptic package manager however you want to pronounce it you can pronounce it like that 0.91.3 and what else we have all the packages the installed one will be uh, highlighted with the tick mark beside the packages and for the description here is the description you can go through all those things let me try to scroll it down properly so here you can see the installed packages and some uh, unchecked boxes so that was the uh, mx linux 23.5 let's close it and here is the tuner file manager so xfc 4.20 if you are uh, if you don't know the xfc 4.20 i already made the video also you can check it out if you already know the xfc 420 you already know how to check all the other things and there is also some information from the uh, in the official website of the xfc you can get all the information from there and what else we have here let's try to change the background let's check some wallpapers so there is no changes in the uh, wallpapers i guess so these are all the same things and in the appearance you can see the background menus desktop icons file launcher icons and keyboard shortcuts if you want to customize you can customize let me close it so i like this wallpaper so that was the video thanks for watching let me show you the logout screen and i'm going to end the video and if you want to try the other iso files you can try it so this was the xfc if you want to try the kde plasma you can try it there is also like a flux box you can try all those things so you get the same things nothing changed here and here you can see the xfc session so thanks for watching i will be posting two videos uh nowadays i'm not posting two videos but uh, if you want to see two videos do let me know uh, in the comment section and also there is no topics in the linux market now so that's the reason i'm just posting the video but i'm posting the youtube shorts and also i'm being uh, posting in the community post do check it out all those things and uh, turn on the notification because i'll be posting videos daily and also subscribe uh, that's it for the video thanks for watching peace out